my lovelies. Um, it's funny, it's funny. <laughs> um, I don't know what to call today, but um, today I'm going to talk about mindless television shows that I get really into. That you might not guess that I get really into. Um, today I'm going to talk about Mob Wives. I'm obsessed with this show. If you're wondering what this is, it's an Apple TV controller. It's not some like mind controller. Um, obsessed. I've watched all the seasons. I watch every single episode and I get so into it. These women are like, in a lot of ways, like the way my insides feel like they could be. Like, um, I've had been really miss cussing. Like I gave up cussing. I don't know, like, eight years ago or something. I mean, once you get out of college, you pretty much give up, give up cussing. Um, and I gave up cussing even in private, you know, eight, eight years ago or whatever. But um, sometimes you just, like, really want to cuss, especially, like, with fibro fog, like, when I cannot make sense of what I'm saying and all of a sudden I just, like, lose the most brilliant thought ever just want to cuss and these girls cuss so freaking much but like obviously you don't hear it but you like feel it and then like sometimes just get like really angry I get really angry like at my body or like situations that are aggravating me or um just adding more to my emotional state and I just want to like punch them um not like physically hurt somebody else or myself but um, I don't know, it just gets this, like, aggression out of me when I watch it. Um, and I just love the, like, respect that they have for each other. But, yeah, like, if you disrespect them, then, like, you're gonna get, you're gonna get it. Not, like, kill you, but you're gonna hear it. And then, but then the, also that they can, like, fight and then like move on with it because like that's never been something I've been really good at like if I get in like a really serious fight with someone I'm probably never gonna talk to them again yeah if someone said like something really hateful to me and like made a whole like dramatic scene and if anyone put their hands on me whoa 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 no way is that happening again um but they can kind of just like get past it and I mean I can forgive that person from afar but no and they would probably end up going to jail because I get really angry and I wouldn't let someone put hands on me and not like fight back like turn the cheek turn the other cheek once you've got slapped in both cheeks I'll probably slap you. So I really like these girls and they're like almost like well first of all Drita is my favorite. Like I love her accent, her like Staten Island accent. And um but um but they're almost like cartoon characters to me. Like they're not like real people in my mind. Because like Big Ange like come on, she is a cartoon character. She's like a real life cartoon character. She has, like, had a plastic surgeon made her look into, like, a cartoon character. Um, Renee is a psychopath. Um, I've never liked her because I don't like when people get, like, real intense. Like, for me, I have, like, a lot of emotions going on already. So, like, I don't like when they get, she gets all, like, big eyes and spazzing all the time. Um, the two new girls, um, Natalie cannot stand her, Jersey, sorry, you're not representing, she thinks she is, like, all that, and she is not, like, she's a nice looking girl, with a nice body, but, like, who is she, nobody, you can just, like, come on a show where they've had, like, I don't know, four seasons, and, like, some popularity and then just be like yeah I'm like you need to respect me so um, I don't like her and then Elise uh, um, I always want to say that's my best friend's name now Alicia um, 
she is like a little too like dumb blonde for me because I think that she does that because she's like playing the victim right now. I think that she knows a little bit more about her husband's situation than she thinks than she thinks we think she does. Like she wants to play like real innocent, but like cooking books, like and she kept keep saying I did them because I knew that they would get done the right way. Like you know what's coming in. I mean that's like doing the bills for a criminal. Like you're gonna be like, hey, what's this bill for like five hundred guns? You know like. It doesn't make sense to me. So I think she's playing like a little more innocent than she needs to, which obviously for her, if she's not coming clean, like that's probably what she's going to do. But um, I don't know. I get really obsessed with it and um, I really like it. And um, it's kind of like another hobby for me. I get really like into it and it's fun for me to watch and it just kind of takes me out of my own world and into these ladies' lives because they get to do really fun things and um, they're right now it's a two-parter in there um, they just went to Vegas so and I love Vegas like crazy about it Vegas it's my favorite place in the United States um, I absolutely love it so um, but and they have like so much money to gamble like that's crazy Oh my gosh, it's so crazy. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of fun watching that show. And um, so if you have any comments about the show or if you want to leave a comment and let me know who your favorite character is and I can give you my opinion on them or um, characters from the past like Karen or someone like that, um, write those in the comments down below. Um, if you would like to contact me with a question or you just want to vent or you just want to tell me about your situation and don't want to hear back from me, I love strangers. I will put my information in the box below and you can contact me. I promise I don't bite. I am a nice person and I'll be nice too. Um, and yeah, so Friday is going to be obsession day. And if you have an idea for a name for Friday obsession day, um, that sounds cooler than Friday Obsession Day. Um, leave that in the comments below as well. Alright, I will see you guys tomorrow. XW!